This YouTuber claims that this trading strategy made him 113% profit in just 100 trades with a win rate of 75%. Today we're going to review and test this strategy to see if it holds up. What's up guys, I'm Jay and welcome to Bitcoin Daily. Recently I decided to begin testing some of the most popular YouTube trading strategies. During my research I came across a bunch of channels that post up different trading strategies that claim that they have 60, 70, or even higher win percentage, making insane profits. But what I found is that most of these strategies didn't actually work. So I am picking out the most popular strategies on YouTube and then coding together a script so that I can backtest these strategies using TradingView's backtesting feature. I then show you guys the real results and win rate of these strategies with over 2,000 backtest trades across seven different time frames. As we find profitable strategies, I will take the best performing ones and put them to the test with real money. If you're interested in getting access to these trading view scripts that I create, stay tuned till the end. So let's dive right in. Remember that this content is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Always do your own research before risking any of your own money. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. So first let's dive into the indicators that you need on your chart to be able to do the strategy. So first is a 200 day EMA. So just search for EMA, click moving average exponential. We're gonna go to inputs, change the length from nine to 200. Go to style, change the color to white and make it a little bit more visible for us here and then hit okay. Next, we're going to add the stochastic indicator. Just type in stock and it should be the first one right here. Add that to the chart. We're not touching this one, we're leaving this one with the default settings. Third, we're gonna search stochastic again. This time we're clicking stochastic RSI adding that to the chart. Once again, we're going to be leaving this indicator with default settings. We're not changing anything on it. Next, we're searching up TSV or time segmented volume. And this indicator is by Vitelot. Go ahead and add that to the chart. We're going to leave the inputs with the default settings. We're gonna to go to chart and we're going to take off this one right here, which is the moving average. There's no need for that. And then hit okay. Now here comes the one that you guys all know is coming now the final three indicators will be the super trend indicators it will be a triple super trend indicator strategy so search super trend this one right here by Kivan we're going to just click that three times and we're gonna go into the style section of each of them and remove the buy and sell signals and we're also going to remove the highlighters and hit okay. All right, so we have our three super trend indicators and now we have to change the inputs a bit here. So for the first one, we're going to leave the ATR period at 10 and the only thing we're changing is the ATR multiplier, which we will be switching to one and hitting okay. The second one, we're changing the ATR period to 11 and we're changing the ATR multiplier to two hitting okay. And the final one will have an ATR period of 12 and a ATR multiplier of three. We're gonna hit okay. And now the chart is finally set up. I know it's a lot of indicators, so hopefully this is profitable. All right, so let's talk about our entry rules. First, in order for a long entry, the price needs to be above the 200 day moving average, which is the white line. Second, the TSV indicator here needs to be above above the zero line. So if the bars are going up like that, that means that it's above the zero line. If they're going down like these right here, that means it's below the zero line. Third, we need at least two of the super trend indicators with green lines, as you guys can see right here, two green lines, one red line. And finally, we take a look at our stochastic indicators for some confirmation. And what we need to see here is that the stochastic is in the oversold territory. Either one of these can be in oversold. Both of them don't have to be in oversold, but none of them can be in overbought. So for example, right here, we see that this is an oversold. If we look at this one, it's not oversold, but it's not overbought. 
So because it's not overbought, this is a confirmation here that we can take an entry. So we look at the rest of our signals. We see the TSM, we see the TSV, it's above the zero line. We see the price is above the white 200 day moving average and we see that we have at least two green super trend indicators so we would enter on the close of this candle right here now for a short entry is the exact same thing but flipped we need prices to be below the 200 day moving average we need at least two red super trend indicators we need at least one of the stochastics to be in the overbought territory but none of them could be oversold and we need the TS v to be below the zero mark you can see that all plays out basically on this one right here on this candle and that would have been a short entry now let's talk about our exits because they're just as important as our entries so for our exits we're setting up our stop loss either at the bottom of the pullback or at our super trend line that is furthest away whichever one is further. So usually is going to be the super trend indicator for coding functions. That is how we're going to be setting up the rule where we're setting our stop loss always at the furthest super trend indicator. Then depending on where our stop loss is, we're gonna be setting up two different areas to take profits. One is going to be at a one to one and the second one's going to be at a two to one. So you can see right here it says risk to reward ratio right now is 1.01. .01. So we just want that to be exactly one to one. That will be the first area where we would take profits. You can see that we hit that right there on that candle. Then we take profit on the rest of our position at a two to one ratio. So basically just move this from one to two and you will see that we would have also hit that take profit right there as well. So you see that here we would have made a profit of about 3.26% if we would have risked 2% like he shows in the video would have been a profit of about 6% on that trade. Again, for a long entry, we're setting it up once we see those same signals setting our stop loss at the bottom super trend line. Our take profit is going to be set at one to one. And then we just watch the trade play out. You can see that here it almost hit our stop, but it didn't, it continued up. And then here it finally did hit our stop loss. So that long trade right there, you can see that it's a loss of about 1.5% on that trade. You stop out at break even for the rest of that position. So you still made a bit of profit. So now that we know our entry and exit rules for both long and short, and we've shown you guys some examples, let's compare these examples with the bot that I got coded together to follow this exact strategy. So I'm gonna turn the bot on here. I'm going to turn off off the indicators here because the bot is already showing me the indicators and let's look at the examples that we just went over so the first example that I showed you guys for a long entry you can see right here the bot has triggered that long entry these two little green lines is the take profit and this little red line is the stop loss so if we put our stop loss right where the red line is and move down to the green line you can see that is a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio trade so exactly as we have described to you guys the rules on the second example that we showed you guys which was a short entry you can see that the bot triggered a short right here you can see that it took profits right here let me clear it out a little bit for you guys you can see it says tp1 short for 0.5 so that's half the position and tp2 short here for 0.5 for the rest of the position here so it hit both tp1 and tp2 on this short entry if we look at the final long entry that we showed you guys you can see that it triggered here exactly where we set up our trade and it has the exact same uh take profit areas with tp1 being up here the stop loss being down here one to one ratio and the stop loss hitting over here so it closed the trade at a loss so we now know the indicators we know the rules for entry and exit and we know that the bot is working so the only thing left to do is back test this over 2000 times across seven different time frames let's see what the results are
So we have completed our back testing and are ready to give you guys the results. We did 2,100 back test trades following the exact strategy across seven different time frames to try to find you guys the best possible results that we can, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at our results here. I know you guys see a lot of green, might make you a little excited, but one of the things that we saw here in our best performing time frame, which was of course the four hour time frame here, you guys can see that after 300 trades, it was up 146.63% with a win rate of 44%. However, if we look at the actual chart here for these results, we will see that if we just bought and held Bitcoin, we would have basically been in way up and now we basically be break even at this moment with just holding Bitcoin. So that's one of the things that we always take into account. Now, of course, there's many variables that can change these results, including how much you're risking per trade, if you're trading with or without leverage, if you're trading while using Bitcoin itself, or if you're trading using USDT. So there's a lot of variables that you do have to take into account. This just gives you an idea for you to go back and kind of play with. If we look at our second best performing time frame here, which was of course the two hour after 100 trades it was up 21 percent after 200 trades 73 percent and after 300 trades 62 percent with 41 percent win rate when we compare it to just buying and holding bitcoin once again we see the same thing buying and holding would have been way more profitable than just trying to do this strategy at this point now is when we would be in profit above bitcoin and you can see that half the time here we were in the red right with a max drawdown of 23 percent those are things that we have to take into consideration when uh, looking at these results we can't just go by the uh, net profit in that time frame because what did bitcoin do in that same exact time Time frame just buying and holding and then our worst performing time frame which was a surprise to me was the one hour time frame in the YouTube video here the one hour time frame is actually what is being used in this video now we do have to take into account their they did their test based on the euro we're doing it based on Bitcoin and they did it back in 2014 and 15 I don't know why they went so far back was that how far back they had to go in order to make this um, um, strategy a 75% winner and 113% profit I don't I don't understand that I think I think that you need to do you know the immediate time that just happened I don't know why you would go back to 2014 and 15 and this video was put out like a year ago so um, that's a uh, definitely a red flag for me here but on the one hour time frame their win percentage was 75% and the their net profit gain on the account was 113% obviously we're nowhere near those numbers even on our best performing time frame which was a four hour the best that we did was hit on a 46 percent uh win rate that is literally the highest i don't know how he got 75 percent because we were nowhere close to that 75 percent and then on the lower time frames the best performing one here was the 15 minute time frame you guys can see after 300 trades it was around 14 and a half percent net profit with a win rate of 40 percent a 1.23 seven profit factor if we compare this to buying and holding bitcoin you can see that we definitely outperformed the bitcoin here the blue line is bitcoin the green is our trades and if we just go back as far as the 50 minute uh back testing chart lets us go you'll see that on 614 trade which is probably like six months or so the net profit is only a 0.91 percent with a percent profitable at 38.44 percent and you can see that the majority of this time it was in the red and then now is that it's basically at break even um so although it is outperforming bitcoin it this looks like it's just kind of break even right it'll maybe go up a little bit sometimes maybe down a little bit but it doesn't look like it's really going to give you any crazy profits um, long term because we're always trying to think long term as the market changes. So overall, I give this a grade of two out of five stars. You can see it here compared to the other strategies that I've tested. This one has a one star, this one's a two star. 
This one's also a two star, even though it did have a bigger average net profit than the other two. However, it also had a very low win rate here, which, you know, um, it just doesn't make it viable for me to even try to run this with real money. So because of that, I'm giving it, I'm keeping it at a two out of five stars. I think the way I'm grading it, if I hit a three star, then I'm going to at least begin to run some type of real money on it and four four or five stars, then those funds will be a lot more. Um, so because I still myself would not put real money into this, I, I would not want to risk money running this uh, strategy. I'm again, keeping it at a two out of five stars here. Let me know what you guys think about this strategy. Are there any optimizations that you would make to make this a little bit better? Also in the comments, if there's any other of these strategies that you have seen on YouTube that you want me to review, drop it in the comments as well and I will be more than happy to review it for you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you guys are interested in getting the scripts and codes for any of these strategies you can join my private discord server where I will make all of these scripts available to my VIP membership group now if you guys like to trade in the one or two hour time frame and are looking for a profitable strategy check out this video that I did here where I tested another trading strategy 2100 times and on the one hour time frame it was by far the best results that i have gotten so far just click the video on the screen right now i'll see you guys on the next one as always peace and love